Hello Industrial Edge community and welcome to What's New. My name is Julia, I'm an ecosystem manager for Siemens Industrial Edge and this is our October 24 release. Let's start with a structure topic. We have used the opportunity to restructure some of the components that are part of the industrial edge system already. There is now two clear categories for configurators and apps. There is device apps like the flow creator and management apps, that's the configurators that you probably have already using. This change in structure has some implications for those of you who are already using IEM Virtual Cloud or Pro. You have to uninstall the former configurators, then switch to the new UI. In the new UI, browse for the configurators that you want to use and install them again. While this seems to be some effort now, we are truly convinced that in the long term, it will help you in terms of structuring your work and increase your usability. Next is about logging and monitoring. First topic I want to introduce is security audit events. To prepare for the Cyber Resilience Act and to comply with the IEC standards, we are introducing with this release security audit events. With security audit events, you can activate or leave unactivated the creation of log files from the industrial edge device in respect to any type of security related events, like somebody logging into the system, someone changing a parameter or so. To prepare for security audit events, you have to first define the role device security officer in the device user groups. Then you switch on the security events on your device's security operations center. Here you can download security logs or forward logs to your own log file server. If you have these logs activated, you can create any type of alerts or forward emails with these security events. This will create full transparency of anything that happens in, on your device security related. There has been a clear request to ease the use of Splunk. With the new Splunk plugin, you can import data directly from the device to the platform and do your monitoring and analysis there and also create alerts, etc. The next topic is relevant for all app developers, but also for all users. It's about app size compression. For anyone who is either uploading applications to the IE Hub or downloading applications from the IE Hub to the Industrial Edge Management, it can take quite some time. This is why we have now introduced a new compression mechanism. That means applications can be now up or downloaded much faster since the size of the application has shrunken about 60%. So everything is a lot faster. This app size compression is available for you if you use an app publisher that's higher than the version 116.3 or if you use an IM higher in the version than 118.1. Now I want to introduce our new documentation portal. The current documentation page for Industrial Edge might be nice and functioning, but it lacks a few functionalities. This is why we are moving to a new documentation portal. This comes with a new structure, new looks and increased functionalities. First of all, it offers increased search functionalities, also across a wider portfolio than only the Industrial Edge platform. Second, it offers additional languages. Chinese translation is already there, more languages are yet to come. Third, this platform allows you to download specific chapters of the documentation as PDFs and once you have logged in, you can create bookmarks or use the documentation even in offline mode. The platform also provides you the opportunity to give feedback on documentation items directly where you're reading it. For the Industrial Edge Management, there are a couple of further improvements in this release. There is now a system metrics tab in the IEM for device-related statistics. Memory limits can now be enabled or disabled from the IEM's device settings. And firmware of devices can be updated from the device detail page directly. Speaking of IEM, please do not forget about the upcoming deprecation of IEM OS. Please make sure to migrate to any of the new offerings, IEM Pro, Cloud or Virtual soon. That's it for today. Thank you for your attention. 
Keep up the good work with Industrial Edge and watch out for the next release in December.